All right, let's go ahead and solve a problem that includes the continuity as well as the impulse or conservation of momentum principle. Okay. Um, okay, and I'll tell you how I obtain those whether I need conservation of mass or impulse momentum momentarily. Let's re first read the question. Here's what it says. Um, this is similar to the previous question that I solved. If you remember, I had this very thing over here. And I was asking you what is the pressure over here. So now what I did was, you know, I'm not interested in pressure anymore. It's still there. But now I'm interested in this. There's a water over here. It's leaving and it's hitting this, right? And if you think about it logically, if I do not hold this in place, what will happen is this will like just fly off, right? Think of the pressure washer. Um, so I have to apply some force to here. That's what I'm asking you to find, okay? And the numbers are the same as the previous problem. To make it easier okay and I told you that I first need the continuity equation right how did I know that I'm missing v2 okay I look at the velocity I look at the area if something is missing then it means I need to use the continuity equation easy enough okay I will use the continuity equation my find my v2 value and then I will look at the equations that is given to me in the reference manual and I'll f I'll try to kind of replicate this as if it's one of the uh, formulas that supply to me okay in the reference manual and then I'll solve this um, I whenever I'm being asked a force that means this impulse momentum equation is the one that you need to be focusing on all right um, so I'm, I'm, I need to find this v2 value okay so let's go out and find it uh, v1 look at my reference manual I get myself q1 is equal to q2 and from here v1 a1 is equal to v2 a2 all there is left is to insert the numbers over here. 0 0.1 times the area will be pi over 4 diameter square, which is 0 0.3 square, will be equal to V2, which is going to be the question, and A2 will be pi over 4, 0 0.1 square, right? And the thing pi, pi over 4 is cancel. As you see, when I divide uh, this by this, I'm going to get 9, 9 times 0 0.1. I'm going to get myself a nice V2 value of 0 0.9 meter per second. Okay, so that was the easy part of the question that take me one step closer to the answer. Okay, another question I have is, it says that this is a water jet and it discharges the atmosphere. What will be the pressure over here? The pressure here will be basically P2G if I use gauge thermology, that's going to be zero. Okay, then let's try to um, redraw this and understand what is going on over here. I have this exit, this is V2 section that I'm drawing over here, and I have myself a plate, right? So if, if you look at the water, what will happen is it's going to come over here, it's going to hit and it's going to fan out in 2D. In 3D, if you think about it, it's going to be like fanning on in every single direction. In a 2D cross section, which the question is testing me on, it's going to go up and it's going to go down, right? So the section is called 2, that's what the question gave me and I'm going to call this section 3 I'm going to call this section 4 arbitrarily uh, like this right okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my reference manual there's deflector and blades I also reviewed it myself it was like this and the water is coming over here and it's just like that right so right now what happens is this alpha that I have here that's specified to me is kind of 90 degrees right because when I look at here, this alpha is 90 when I convert, so it's up, it's completely vertical, okay? But what I need to do is from that section, I need to copy the formula that's given to me. You can start and solve this from scratch. In all my lecture notes, we start and solve from scratch, but over here you have this information. Why not take advantage of it? So I'm directly copying this formula from the reference manual, okay? Now, we need to be careful because in the reference mail, they don't say what 2 is, what you know, 1 is, what is Q, right? So now we have to customize this equation. Plus, one more thing is this equation is written for one inlet, one outlet. Okay? So in my case, that's really quite not the case, right? I have 2 as the inlets and 3 and 4 as the exits. So as I mentioned when I'm reviewing the reference manual, they simply want to say that 2 is the exit, 1 is the inlet. So how many exits do I have? I have section 3 and section 4 as the exits and I have section 2 as inlets, right? The way that I draw. So be careful, you see, I'm just worried that, you know, this 2, 2, right? So now what we're going to do is 
I said that one hint is I said alpha and I said that alpha is gonna be 90 degrees, right? Because the void that is drawn. What is cosine 90? Cosine 90? Zero. Kind of makes sense because the axis that I have here and here is perpendicular to the extraction. And there will be no contribution of from the moment momentum point of view to the equation. So then actually what happens is this, this drops out. Okay? So it, I don't really matter whether I have three or four or five exits, whatever. Okay? Um, and if I want to rewrite this equation, it's going to minus f of x is q. q is v2a2. Density times minus v2, right? That's what I have. Okay, let's go ahead and plug the numbers in. v2 was 0 0.9, a2 was pi over 4, 0 0.1 square. Density was 1000. And then this is going to be minus 0 0.9, right? So you see when I multiply these, two, by the way, negatives cancel, I got myself fx is equal to 810, right? Uh, times pi over 4, times 0 0.1 square. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, 1, 2, 8.1. So that's 8.1 times pi over 4. And if I plug this into my calculator, I'm going to see that I'm going to get 6.36 Newton as the answer. Okay. And when I go up over here, see that this is going to be the answer. Thank you for watching this video.